Hey girls, I am back this week with a super fun topic, in my opinion, how to style Ugg boots and Ugg slippers. So I've got the new mustard seed platforms here. I have the ultra minis. These are so classic. And I'm telling you, last year they sold out and we could not get them in November or December. So buy them early. I will have all the retailers that I've seen stock down below in the description box. And if for some reason they don't have your size, you can put your email in and get notified. So I want to show you some really quick and simple ways on how to style Uggs so that if you have a pair, you're like, oh, I never thought about wearing them with that. Or if you've thought about getting a pair and you're like, how in the world would I even wear those out? This is the video for you. If you're new here, I like to save women time and brain space and effort and money and all things effortless fashion. And um, thank you if you are someone who's here all the time. I feel like flats got a huge glow up because of COVID and like everyone working from home and I don't wear heels as often as I used to. So let's rock the casual cute look and jump right into it. Oh, and P.S. I have the chestnut Taz slipper and the original Tasman slipper too. So I'm going to style these for us. First up is just a very casual jacket, kind of like a loungewear pant, and then the ultra mini Uggs. Um, these are the hardest to put on, P.S. That's the only complaint is that you have to use your hands to get them on, where the other ones you can just slip your foot right in if your hands are full and you're running out to the car. And then this is one of my favorite suede jackets. I sized up to a large. I have it with just a Lululemon um, Swiftly race length, like, casual black thin you can see like it's nice and athletic and thin so I'm kind of mixing like the little dressier with a little more casual and then these are a high-waisted pant they are super comfortable and they just kind of swing I think they're still in stock I'll link the exact pair so here is look number one and let's get to number two. All right, here is the next look. And I thought it would be fun just to throw on a graphic tee with some neutral colors to it. And then this is one of the best-selling skirts from Free People. It is so soft and comfortable. It covers um, the legs well, but just gives a little slit there. And the purse ties in with the slippers well. And so if you are just running out, you want to go to a girlfriend's house for a glass of wine, but you want to be comfortable and feel like you have sweats on, this is a great look for that. A lot of people are saying to size up in the Taz slipper. Um, and I love the lift that it gives, but do you see the space in my heel? I don't really think the tens are going to work. So I'm going to look for a size nine because I'm a nine to a nine and a half. Um, so just wanted to help you with sizing two on that. But yeah, just kind of a fun, like easy peasy, throw slippers on type of look. Hello, dirty hair day and you don't feel like washing it? Throw a hat on, throw an oversized coat again on. This is my favorite. They have four different colors this year. Oh my goodness. You've got to check out this coat it has they have dark gray I think they have this color they have like a really perfect cream kind of like my blanket and then I can't remember I think like an olive um fits true to size and then this is why did I not know that Walmart had the best t-shirts um I will link this crop tee it was 15 bucks and then of course just leggings I like the lululemon align and I also had to go steal these socks from my daughter's drawer. She's 13 and they were too tall. So I had to roll them. I was like, um, we're going to, we're going to make sure that those don't like go halfway at my calf. So I don't love the socks, but if you have found any good socks to go with your, um, mini Ugg boots, please comment below. Help a 45 year old girl out so that we can rock the trends without feeling like <laughs> so silly. Um, there are like some shorter crew socks that I've seen. Free People has some cute socks that have like a stripe on them. So I'm going to kind of do some research too and I will try to link a shorter white pair down below that's not even Nike because Nike's a little too athletic for this look. But before I move on to the next outfit, if you own the Abercrombie dad coat, which this fits flawlessly. I am obsessed with this coat. It was my first Abercrombie purchase, like since I was a teenager and I don't regret it. And then, um, or if you have a Teddy coat, whatever color you want, 
um, wear it with this look and you will be warm and kind of that put together like, oh, I didn't really think about my outfit, but I did. It's like the no makeup makeup look. That's what these outfits are. If you know what I mean, you know. Okay, let me show you the next one. Here is another look. So this jacket is kind of like the Letterman's jacket style that is trending right now. It is from Amazon and it has super cute pockets. It actually looks cuter than you think it's going to. Um, and it's comfortable too and I like the color. So I styled it with this stretchy high neck ribbed tank also from Amazon black Lululemon belt bag because it's obviously pretty casual and these are my Abercrombie black trousers and they are in regular length because I bought them to wear with like my Adidas Sambas and Uggs and just casual stuff you know so here's what I got I have the new let me show you up close look how cute the colors are on the new Taz and the chestnut so these are a size nine and they fit perfectly. I love the way they feel. I love the way they feel when I walk in them. And then these are the Tasman from last year that were really popular. No one could get their hands on them. These are also a size nine and they are perfect, perfect, perfect. So it kind of just depends on what you want to do. I think with a trouser, you can see the length. I would do the Tasman because then they don't look, my pants don't look like high waters. Um, I think that the platforms would be really cute with leggings more than, unless your pants are longer and then you can totally rock them. So just a fun, let me show you a little close up of the jacket. I did have to steam it when it came, but it is a very, very cute, fun look. You could totally style this with jeans as well. I don't even think I've shown you girls this free people tank. They did such a good job this year with this tank top. It's got a really nice collar. Um, it has a perfect arm opening. And then it comes up on the side with a cute seam and circles down into the front. So it really gives the torso a fantastic look. I wanted to wear it like with jeans, with trousers all summer. And then this is a cute little Amazon flannel that I'm thinking you could tie around your waist or like if it gets cold at night, throw it on. Um, and then these, oh, these are the Airy, or sorry, American Eagle drapey cargo pants. They are crazy comfortable. The pocket is perfect. Has It's a, like a little snap closure. The length is great. Um, I have on the chestnut Taz, so the platform, uh, just because I feel like these pants give a little bit of length that way. And like, look, they just move. They're like satiny smooth. They are top notch and they're under 60, which is huge. So lots of good savings. The tank is under 40 and it comes in a bunch of different colors. So I love the way that this looks, the way that it feels, the way that you can be kind of transitional with it from um, summer to fall. And yeah, let's show you one more. Here is a sweater that I love with the collar, a little zip detailing, and um, you don't have to wear a tank under it because it's got enough coverage. So if it's kind of like that summer to fall where you're feeling like you might get a little bit hot, it is a great sweater. Um, Mother Denim, one of my favorite pairs of jeans. If you have more of a cropped pair, I think it might look better with these, but I still kept the socks on because I felt like the ultra mini boots needed just a little pop of the white. Um, so again, this isn't quite enough of a gap. So look at your crop jeans, see what you have, grab a pair if you do not have the right ones. Um, but you could wear the slippers with these too. So just wanted to kind of show you like a very classic, simple way to wear jeans with your Uggs. One last outfit idea. All right. So I put the mustard seed with the opal white belt bag from Lulu just because I thought they kind of tied in together. And then Aviator Nation, if you have not tried their apparel, I'm telling you, it is the softest, most comfortable. You're going to want to put it on every single day. 
it's going to be hard not to want to put it on. So um, the sweatshirt's a little big. It's all they had, size large, but it, everything's true to size. The um, joggers are true to size. They are just like super duper duper soft. Um, I don't want to say buttery soft because I always say that and people make fun of it when they talk about influencers, but um, really truly it is like that buttery soft. And then I like the cropped look with the socks and, you know, of course some platforms, just throw it on. And what's our mantra? Well, my mantra is, let's look put together like we actually put some thought into how we got dressed but let's also feel like we are wearing pajamas yes please and thank you so thanks for being here with me and i will see you next time bye quick close-up recap for you all true to size love the color on these of course the mustard seeds gorgeous and ultra minis Guys, I'm running out the door and I just put this outfit on because it's hot here and I'm thinking I could totally wear Uggs with this too. Like if I just needed to, just wear it with these cropped mango jeans, which by the way, these come in a bunch of different colors. So I'm going to link them here for you because they are under a hundred and they are stretchy and they have like the cutest little back pocket. So yeah, here's another outfit idea for you. <laughs>